Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a Legends of Zelda Ocarina of Time Theory video. So for today's video and theory, my theory for today is it deals with the Eye of Truth. The Eye of Truth is something that you obtain in Gerudo Desert. And it allows you to see things and it helps you to complete the, the dungeons that are seen. So the Eye of Truth, from what we have most likely know, is that it was probably in ownership of the man who could see the truth who used to live in Kakariko Village. In Kakariko Village, if you and after Link gets the Master Sword and is an adult, then you can speak to the old man who used to live in Castletown, and he will tell you of the man who is said to be able to see the truth. He tells you that this man was able to see the truth without having spoken to the person or investigated in further into any of the issues. But the old man should be in the game somewhere or at least a remnant of him, but he's not seen anywhere in the game. There's not even a remnant of perhaps a house for him anywhere. There was something that should have been in the middle of Kakariko Village, however, where the one of the mini games is currently housed. Which is my theory on to where the old man's house used to live, where he used to live. But that house was torn down because he most likely stole the Eye of Truth. And that was, allowed him to see the truth through anything, which is why he probably isn't seen anywhere. So the old man who could see the truth after stealing it, he fled from Gerudo, uh, from the Gerudo Desert. He fled to Kakariko Village, where he lived for quite a few years in peace, until the Gerudo found him and accused him of his thievery, and he was brought to justice, most likely via the shadow temple which looks like a huge torture chamber in the shadow temple is where he resided and the horrors that were there most likely manifested because of him and in the time period that legends of zelda ocarina of time takes place i found that the most common way of punishing thieves was to cut off their hands and if you end the shadow temple and you find that boss there bongo bongo doesn't have his hands that's probably where the old man who could see the truth went but after that where was he put where did the eye of truth go After the old man, or should I say Bongo Bongo, was punished, he then, the Eye of Truth was then retrieved from where he used to live and went back to the Gerudo Desert where the Gerudo then placed it into <coughs> the little hut that it is in now. The little hut building that it is in now. And that's most likely where it resided until Link came and got it to use on his journeys and travels to save Hyrule. But we're going to go before all that happened. What happened to the Eye of Truth? Who made the Eye of Truth? My guess is that it was the twin sorceresses, or the twin Rova, which consists of 
Kume and Kotake. I hope I'm saying that right. If not, oh well. Kume and Kotake. They're really old sorceresses who reside in Gerudo Desert, who mo who also taught Ganon and groomed him to be king of the Gerudo, as one male Gerudo is born every hundred years and rules over the Gerudo. They were sorceresses, and they taught him how to use magic from a young age. But before that, they still were alive. They've been they've been using their magic to keep them alive for a very long time, and the Eye of Truth is an artifact that has been around for a very long time as well. Why would the twin sisters Sorcerer sisters need this eye of truth unless they made it specifically for the person that they looked after and they taught magic to. Perhaps they made the eye of truth for Ganondorf to use, say, as advantage. We know that Ganon had a fake allegiance to the Hyrule family only to obtain the Triforce from the Sacred Realm. Perhaps the Eye of Truth allowed him to have the knowledge that if he did this, he would get to the Triforce from the Sacred Realm. I mean, how else would his plan go down perfectly? But what the Eye of Truth failed to see was Link, so perhaps when the Eye of Truth failed to see that Link was coming to stop Ganon, he discarded the treasure in ang out of anger for it not seeing that there was a threat to him and his ultimate evil plan. After discarding the Eye of Truth back into the Gerudo Desert, Link finally finds it yet again. Or did the sisters perhaps create the Eye of Truth before they were powerful enough to use their powers without needing the Eye of Truth? Because as we can see, the sisters became very, very powerful, especially as in the Gerudo Desert in the temple, we see and become one whole being. And for being their age kept alive with magic, they must be very powerful to be able to attack the way they do. So they became very skilled with their magic. But every 
everything takes a lot of practice. So perhaps before the sisters were very good at sorcery, they created tools to help them, much like a lot of the items that are found in Legends of Zelda, but their most valued item, perhaps, was the Eye of Truth. Which is why it was always kept close to them in the Gerudo Desert. What is the real reason Kume and Kotake decided to create the Eye of Truth? Why would they need such a powerful magical item if they themselves are powerful and magical? As I'm filming this, it started to storm. I think Kume and Kotake decided that they didn't like being talked about. And it started to storm. I don't know why two powerful sorceresses would need an item like this. Did they create the Eye of Truth for someone? Or did they, in their evil minds, decide that, hey, maybe we should do something good and leave this for the hero that will need it? Because in their infinite witchy wisdom, And evilness they found it among upon themselves that maybe we should do some good in our lives or perhaps they created this in their youth and they foresaw Ganon becoming an evil monster and destroying Hyrule and so to stop it they created this and they, they're not even created they left this to aid the hero in stopping Ganon Perhaps because Kume and Kotake possessed mainly fire and ice magic, they wanted to create these items to expand their powers and what they were able to do with their magic. And to do this, they are only able to put it into an item and have that be their ability to use that magic. Perhaps that was their only gateway to use that type of magic.
and our beautiful lens of truth is created. Now we just have to outline some things. That was my theory on the creator of the eye of truth. I did a little sketch in watercolor of the eye of truth with the wings like in the twin rova of the fire and ice wings from both of the twins. And my take on the creator of the eye of truth. I hope you enjoyed. For more content like this, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want this type of content, leave a comment. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, well, then don't do anything. Don't watch it again. Just going to do some final touches. Finish up painting. And a little pizzazz. And hopefully soon I will have a, my next musical composition, which will be a flute piece. For those of you who are here for the music aspect of my channel, which will be coming out soon. I just haven't finished it yet. I've been so busy, so I haven't really finished that composition yet. But it will be out I'll see you all next time I post a video. Thank you very much. Bye bye.